what's up you guys welcome to my channel and my first YouTube video I really never thought that I would be making a YouTube video because my voice annoys me so much to listen to but I got this idea in my head of this little stop-motion intro for this video that you guys already saw and I just had to do it so today we're going to be freaking planning all of these minis together for my 2019 planner. And I'm going to be using a mini as my main planner and not a classic. So let's just do this. First I'm going to start with this Fresh Romance one. And this is a classic mini style with the horizontal layout. But I got this for the matte cover that feels really nice. So what I wanted to do with this is I wanted to use the inside cover of it because it's pink. So I'm going to be taking this cover off. And I'm going to be flipping it around so that this with the Live Creatively is the front. And this part is on the inside. And I'm going to be using white discs with it. White discs are actually my favorite. I really wish they would come out with some metal white ones because that would be awesome. Can't even buy the white ones individually. And so I only have this one set. And so. I took my whole notebook apart just to be able to put it on this planner. So the next thing I'm going to do is take one of these Foxy Fix adhesive pockets and put it on the inside cover. And I know that Happy Planner has adhesive pockets, but they are kind of big and I wanted a clearer one so that I could put die cuts in it. And I took out this Talk Nerdy To Me die cut from Moon Babe Inkery to put in here to sort of cover up this little Happy Planner logo. And I'll probably decorate more stuff put more decorative stuff in it later. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to put in is these Socialite sticky note tabs. I really like using these because they're nice and big. I never understand those teeny tiny sticky notes. I just don't know what the heck I would write on those. I do use them for decoration, but I like these big ones. And so the next thing I'm going to do is put in these dividers that I made. I used some scallops and the bows from the socialite and just laminated them and made myself some clear dividers. I decided to do clear ones instead of putting paper in them so that I could just stick whatever paper behind them or these little pockets dash card things that I could decorate and they would still be see-through and I could change them out whenever I wanted. So I've got the clear dividers in and if you guys would like a video of how to make these it's pretty simple but I feel like I have a few tips and tricks I could share to line up the washi and get them the right size. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this planner, the Life is a Party one, and this one is... This one is a vertical lined weekly, and I really liked it because of the colorful discs, even though I'm using white. But another fun thing is that this planner has special dates in it. Right here it says National Handwriting Day, National Sticker Day, you guys better mark that in yours if you don't have one of the fun planners with the special days in it. So, 
This one I'm going to be using as my main catch-all planner. So I'm going to take the first two months and stick them in here. I might add more later, but I guess it just depends on how much fits on these discs. So I really don't want to try to get expander discs. And when I take pages out of my planner, I like to take the divider tab and take that out on its own and then take the pages from the month out because I just feel like the divider part is kind of hard to take out with the pages. I also really wish that Happy Planner would make this page a notes page instead of the dashboard for the next month. And then this is the divider and then just have the same design on the back side and then make this the dashboard in this style. And then you would have your month and then your weeks. That would make Franken planning way easier in my opinion. And I'm also going to take this and put this back at the front behind the clear divider so that I can decorate it later. I'm still not sure what I'm going to put in these. <laughs> so I just haven't done that yet. And then in the next section, I am going to take the mini healthy hero. And I'm going to put two months of that in here. This is kind of awkward because I want the January dashboard. So I kind of have to take all the beginning of the planner and stick it in there. And I'm also going to put one of these pocket pages in front of the Healthy Hero stuff. Because I know what I want to do with this and put like inspirational, healthy things in this. And so in my next section, I am going to take the mini drama llama, which is the cutest planner ever besides the llama. It is my favorite color scheme, all the pink and black and gray the greatest and I probably would have just used this planner but I don't like the cover <laughs> and then I'm gonna take two months from the fresh romance planner that I took the cover off of and stick it in the next section let me add in a pocket page after the divider I just want to make sure that I have enough room in here if I do want the pocket pages in front of every planner. I'm going to take another pocket page for something someday and stick it in there. And then I'm going to put some lined pages in the next section for a budget. I thought about getting the mini budget planner, but I really don't need that because I don't use all the pages, even in my classic one. I just kind of use the bills and expense page. I don't do the budget because it's kind of just always the same. So I'm just going to put the paper in here and just draw some lines and make my own. And what I forgot to do was take the pages out of the back of the Mini Healthy Hero. The Mini Healthy Hero was the only one that came with the extra neato pages that they give you in the Happy Planner Girl line. So I want to put these in with my stuff.
And then in the next section, I am actually going to leave this empty because I want to put some daily pages back here. Uh, Sham from the Honey Bee Shop just came out with some untimed dailies that I want to get and put in here. I just haven't bought them and printed them yet. Then in the next section, I'm just going to have a note section. I feel like I thought about another section. That's why I made another tab. Maybe I'll remember that later. So I'm just going to put some graph paper in here. I'll probably print out some pink dot grid paper later because I prefer that. I have that in my notes that I just printed out from a website where you can choose the color of your dots and the size and how far apart you want them. Alright, well I've got most of the pages into my planner. And I'm sure that it will change as it goes on. I also have some dividers, but I don't really need them yet. But I guess let's not put them in. We'll just wait. I do want to take some of these little half pages and put them in a few places. Like I know I want to put the healthy hero ones in the healthy hero section. Probably put one in each month just so that I have them there ready. No excuses. Oh, where'd those go? They are already there. And I really like the design of the new healthy hero and the different colors and the weeklies. I'm slightly worried that these spaces will be too small to write in, but I guess I'll just have to get out my tiny pen and write as small as I can. Alright, so I think I'm also going to put a pocket page in the front so that I can open it up to something pretty instead of, well I mean, the sticky notes are pretty, but more like an inspiration page to have there. So, here's the planner in all its pink and white glory, even though the bow tabs don't exactly match it, they're still super cute. So, I've got pocket in the front, pocket page, sticky notes. I've got the Life is the Party Planner that is going to be my catch-all, like, home, everything, whatever planner. I'm wondering if you guys can guess what I'm going to do with this. Foreshadowing. Not really, I'm basically telling you. And then I've got my healthy hero. I really want to get back into eating better and exercising. When I say eating better, that basically means I eat all garden style salad all day because that never gets boring for some reason. And then I have got my mini drum and llama, which is the adorable monthly layout. And for that, I'm going to be using it as a, I think I'm going to do this as my social media planner since I, you know, might be doing YouTube now as if I keep doing it. You know, I started a blog, didn't follow through with that, but we'll see how this goes. But if there's anything you would like to see from me on my channel, then just let me know and... I'll try to do it. <laughs> Can't promise anything. And then I have the Fresh Romance back here. And I'm going to be using this as my homeschool planner for my daughter. And like chores like whose day it is to feed the dog or the lizard because I always forget whose turn it was the day before. 
And then this will be budget. This will be dailies once I print those out. Notes. And a section of nothing. Might eventually get something or might. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first YouTube video. Hopefully I upload this. <laughs> it was kind of fun just sitting here talking to myself about planners since I don't really have any planner friends in real life. So I'll just talk to my iPad. So just let me know down below what you thought, if you would like to see any other videos or plan with me's, and... I'm not going to say what everyone else says at the end of their YouTube videos. You know. Bye!